Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you are ready for some more Pokemon action today. We kicked off earlier in the week with this team you can see on your screen in front of you now, which is a Lunala Kyogre Mega Mowa build. The team, as always, is down in the description below. There is a Roll Paste and a Poker Paste. And what we said we'd do at the start of the week was we had two variations of this team that we'd like to take forward. You've got my build, which is right here, that I threw together and we've also got Fabian's build which is this one right here so what we said we'd do we'd split the week right down the middle we would play exactly the same amount of games with both teams so what we're gonna do today is have a bit of a split we're gonna play both teams one game with each team and then for the rest of the week we're gonna finish up with Fabian's team baked VGC his handle will be down in the description below if you want to give him a follow over on Twitter he's a great guy and just a huge shout out to him once again for providing us with this team so Let's get into it. I believe the ladder, the rankings have all been reset, which is a little bit sad, but um, it's it's good timing. We've got the roulette series starting next week, and uh, we'll get more information as we go through this episode, get some music on. As always, if you do enjoy this content, guys, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do remember to subscribe to the channel, and uh, do leave your comments down below, because I love hearing from you more than anything else. And we've got Tepu Emma as our first opponent today. So I guess we're going to hop straight over into team preview. I'm trying to rack my brains because I do know this handle and I'm sure it is a UK player. I'm sure Tapu Emma is a UK player. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But I know it's someone known in the community anyway. But they are playing a team of Rayquaza Kyogre. So you've got that Rayogre combination there. Supporting cast of Incineroar. You've got the Fake Out Intimidate support, Pivot support there. And then the other Pivot support you've got in the team is going to be Tapu Koko. We'll bring the terrain with it as well. Going to be the fast offensive kind of sweeper on this team you've got to watch out for then you've got the speed control coming in on one side with that stack attacker going to offer trick room and then the other side you're going to have the whimsicott so the whimsicott providing tailwind support is going to have probably have encore may have taunt uh, to try and shut things down and then the trick room i guess is going to support things like the incineral and the, the kyogre there so how are we going to set ourselves up for this one um hmm I feel like Tapu Koko is actually decent in this game, but uh, the Whimsicott does worry me slightly. I'm going to lead uh, Incineroar and I'm going to lead Lunala. I'm going to bring Kyogre and do I bring, yeah, Mega Morwell. Heck yeah, let's do this. We'll get over into our right screen eventually um, and we'll get into this first one. It's going to be tricky because the, the whimsy cut's going to be really awkward to deal with. They can't obviously on call uh, at Incineral, so we can freely go for fake out. That's just because of the dark type and for those of you out there that do not know. But we'll lead with Lunala and Incineral. We'll see Whimsicott and Kyogre come out for my opponent. Mm. I mean, what do we see here? What do we see? Ah, oh, we really need to trick room. We really need a trick room, but I'm so worried about Taunt from Whimsicott. I mean, one of the things we could potentially do is sack. Sack off Incineroar and just fake out Wimmy. Because we'll take an attack from the Kyogre, for sure. Um, oh, we could just attack into the Whimsicott. That's the other thing. Um... Fake out the Kyogre. Let's take as l as minimal damage as possible. Uh, I don't feel like we need to go for the Z move. I'll just go for the Psy Shock into the Whimsicott here. Um, so we'll get the fake out into the Kyogre. We're not really doing anything too fancy here. I'm actually going to see a Moonblast now. It's going to be into the Lunala break that Shadow Shield. So we could have went for the Trick Room. But th the other hand, you've got to think is that, you know, when we go for the Trick Room, we might be doing that Kyogre a favor. Um, what I'm going to do now is go for a snarl and I'm going to go for a wide guard. Try and catch my opponent off guard. Maybe they go for a water spout. Maybe they go for an origin pulse. It's pretty likely that they do. But let's see. I mean, the wide guard's pretty obvious, isn't it? It really is. But I'm going to see Whimsicott just go for a protect here. We'll spam up this wide guard. We've got to watch out for Encore this next turn for sure. Uh, Origin Pulse. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. 
But what we could do is potentially go for a Z move this next turn into the Kyogre slot um, and switch in our own Kyogre for Incineroar to take a potential water type attack. Um, okay. Let's bring in Kyogre of our own and let's go. Because I do feel like we're going to get. We're going to get on cord. Or do we? Do we? Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bring in Kyogre just yet. I'm gonna go for a U-turn into Whimsicott, and I'm gonna go for the Z move into Kyogre. Okay, let's see Incineroar coming in now. Rayquaza. I mean, I kind of don't mind that, really. <laughs> I mean, yeah, especially because I think the Encore is coming out. The reason I didn't want to switch Kyogre in is because if we get into a position we got Kyogre out on the field and Kyogre is still an issue, I'm just thinking ahead, I don't want to not have a switch in for a big water type attack. We're going to have to cut this, so we'll be right back. It's not sashed. We take down Ray. Come on. That makes things a lot easier. But this is the, the one of the things that I wanted to, like why I was saying this, like the, the Kyogre could become a big problem. And we've only got Incineroar, we've only got uh, Morwell in the back. Now, um, neither want to come in on Origin Pulse, like, at all. So, that my thinking behind this was to try and preserve Kyogre as a good switch in for their Kyogre, if that makes sense. Um, because it gives us a little bit more room to kind of get around things. Okay. So, I didn't see what the Whimsicott went for. What did it do? Um, did it go for an encore? It did, indeed. The thinking that the Rayquaza could get in. So we got away with that play. We kind of predicted that that's what they were going to do. Um, hmm. Ah, ooh, let's see. Uh, don't really want to protect in front of the Whimsicott. I mean, we could Mega Evolve and Sucker Punch. We, we are white. We have got Wide Guard going for us. So, I mean, that's what we're locked into. So, potentially, it just just go yeah wide guard and play rough into the Kyogre and mega evolve and let more do some do some stuff um, so the roulette series right now guys is going to be starting Monday next week I'm super psyched about it. excited about it I'm putting all the pieces together right now to make it look all nice and flashy and and quite cool um, but the poll will be up on the YouTube channel it's not really a poll it's just a topic asking you guys to nominate a single Pokemon to put into that roulette that we're going to do the draw on our first episode back. Mowile, why'd you do this to us? You always, this is my, this is my curse of play rough. Um, okay, Kyogre's got Origin Pulse, Water Spout, it's probably got Ice Beam as well, so we're not in the worst position here. Being locked into Wide Guard, it kind of shuts down this, the ability of this Kyogre completely. There's a Moonblast going to come out from the Whimsicott. We'll probably see an Ice Beam as well from the Kyogre. Um, special Attack Drop, not ideal. Just another Water Spout, going to try and catch us out, I guess. Um, but maybe looking for the switch with Lunala. There's the player off into the Kyogre doing some nice damage. Nice, tasty, tasty damage. Okay, uh, we'll go for a Sucker Punch into Kyogre and we'll go for Psy Shock into the Whimsicott, but we'll probably get locked into Encore once again. Once the Kyogre's gone, I mean, we have a pretty easy time of closing this one up. Um, I think we just got around that Encore a little bit. Th this is the thing about best of one, isn't it? You know, you can catch your opponent off guard with these sort of things. We're going to see Kyogre just go for a Protect here. Um, Wimmy, what are you going to do? Moonblast. Carrying on with these Moonblasts, but we'll be able to pick up the Knockout onto the Whimsicott now. Um, what's the last Pokemon? Is it going to be Incineroar? It's most likely to be, I would imagine. Um, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Stack Attacker. Okay. Big stacks. Welcome to the party. To the party stacks. Uh, we'll go for another Sucker Punch again. Um, and we will go for Moongeist Beam. I mean, with Mega Mobile, we're not really too concerned. Yeah, Kyogre's just going to continue to go for Protect. It's going to try and stall out our um, Sucker Benches, I would imagine. Second deck, I probably will go for Trick Room here, but I don't really mind too much, because then Mobile becomes slower than the Kyogre, and we can just go for a... Ah, okay, we're just going to see Jarable. 
Yeah, it's just not doing enough. Mawile's too slow. Sucker Punch. And we can just do this all day. We can just Moongas Beam. Uh, I'm just going to Sucker Punch again. Because I feel like a way for my opponent to try and get around it. I mean, they could Gyro Ball. Uh, uh, oh, we get the Sucker Punch now. That's fine. We get the Kyogre. And then we just got the Stack Attacker to deal with. Um, we kind of pinned the Kyogre this whole game, especially considering that it was really relying on those double target attacks. Our wide guard, especially getting locked into it, kind of helped. Um, ooh, and to rub salt into the wound, a critical hit at the end. I don't really think that mattered. It just quickened the result up. But very good game to Tapu, Emma, and a really nice way for us to kick off today. And I'm so sorry that I can't remember who you are. Uh, if you do watch this, let me know down in the comments and uh, just remind me about what's happening. But getting back to the roulette series, we'll look for our next opponent. And we are switching teams right now, so we're going to hop off here. And then we're going to come back with Fabian's team. So we will we'll do that. And then I can talk a bit more about this roulette series that we've got starting next week. Um, which is going to be fun, fun, fun. Um, I did say I was going to reset my rating for when we start this new series. I will still do that. So whatever we end up with at the end of the week, we'll reset that. We'll come back 1500 and we'll see how far we can get on the ladder with these random teams as I just select some music. So one of the things that I do want to do is make sure like every team, I think minimum has to have one restricted. We are playing a restricted format, so we need to have at least one. Um, two preferably would be ideal. Um, and what I want you to do guys is nominate, you can nominate restricted Pokemon, you can nominate non-restricted Pokemon, but only nominate one Pokemon. That's that's kind of the the rule, the boundary. So we can keep things a little like the the roulette reel isn't like clogged up. Come back to this in a minute because we've got Tartine as our next opponent. Um, Plenty QR code team. It looks like the uh, Japan national winning team of that combination of Rayquaza Solaleo. A really combination that I do love quite a lot. I haven't really played with very much. One that I would like to play with. Um, but we'll see how we get on with this team. So, uh, to recap the team, because we didn't do it at the start of the episode, we've got Lopunny, which is the Mega. We've got Dual Mega on this team. Uh, mega Lopunny, Mega Mowile. We've got uh, Primagradon, Lunala. Primarily going to be a Trick Room team. We've got Gastrodon. It's got the Z move. And then we've got Choice Specs, Tapu Koko here. So, um, hmm, ha, what are we going to do here? I think Koko is obviously always going to be a good Pokemon to bring. Um, although. The Gastrodon does make things a little bit more difficult. I think Mega Lopunny is actually really quite good. Um, Lunala, Mega Lopunny, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, we do want Groudon. I think out of everything, the Gastrodon is going to be a bit difficult to to deal with. Groudon we definitely need, and um, did we go Tapu Koko? It's faster than Ray. It deals with Finny. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go Tapu Koko. And bringing Jewel Megas to the same game. It's never going to be. It's never going to work out well. I love this outfit. The Nurse Joy outfit. I, I, I don't even remember seeing that. I wonder if you can get it. Wouldn't be, I'm just thinking now. I wonder if you could dress your guy character up in a Nurse Joy outfit. I would be totally down for doing that. <laughs> I'm not going to be competing at any more tournaments, I don't think, on, I'll, I'll say Ultra Sun and Moon. It depends what happens in the 2020 season, really, doesn't it? Um, we still might be playing until November, at least when Sword and Shield comes out. So there might be time if that is a possibility. Regardless of that, we are going to see uh, Incineroar, and we're going to see Tapu Fini come out from my opponent. I imagine we'll probably see, like, maybe an Icy Wind come out from the Tapu Fini. Um... I'm going to go fake out into Incineroar. Um, oh, we've got the Z move on uh, Lunala as well. We've got the, the Z focus blast, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now we could set up Trick Room. But the next turn, I do really want to try and get this Incineroar if we can. So I'm just going to Moon Guys to beam the Tapu Fini here. Um, and fake out the fake out user, which is never normally that advisable. But it's fine. We'll see how we can get on. So just a Moonguys beam coming out from Lunala. Does some nice damage to that type of Finny, and we do... Ah, oh, Nature's Madness. I kind of prefer this, really. I don't like this beat drop. 
um, if I'm like, completely honest with you. Now, I think what we could probably do is... Hmm, we didn't even Mega Evolve Lop Honey. Now, we're going to Mega Evolve right now. Um, ha! But there's not really much we can do, because I'm going to Z Focus Blast the Incineroar. Um, I mean, I could on-call the Finny into Nature's Madness. Yeah, we could just do that. We could just do that and Z Focus Blast. It should be enough to get this Incineroar. At least I'm hoping it is going to be enough. I don't know whether this team has a Salt Vest Incineroar on it. If it does, then it makes things a bit difficult. We could have low kicked and then uh, Z moved into Incineroar. But there's the Encore. We'll stop any icy winds or hill pulsing or anything like that. And here's the Z move. At least this is a Z move we don't have to cut out as well, so that's quite nice. Come on, Lunala, flap those wings, get the, the, the punching gloves out. Let's go for an Ola Pumling. I always laugh when <laughs> you see this. Ola Pumling on, on Lunala and Tapu Lele. I always think I must be just, just like when your opponent sees I just be like, oh, you're one of the, you're one of those guys. You're one of those guys. <laughs> That's all I think. Okay, so Nature's Madness uh, into into low pony, but it does miss, thank goodness, and then Rayquaz are going to hit the field, alright. If we can get a Trick Room up, um, I don't know if we want, do we want Trick Room up? Do we want Trick Room up? We could go after you, um, you could go after you Trick Room, to be honest. It's just we've got Coco on the back, and like getting Coco in now is Yeah, I think what we'll do is, uh, after you Moon Guys Beam into the Rayquaza, get some damage onto it, put it in Dazzling Gleam range or uh, Thunderbolt range. I'm just a little bit concerned that Gastrodon is the last Pokemon in the back, and if we lose Lunala, that Gastrodon becomes a little bit more difficult to deal with. But it's fine, it's fine. It should be fine. Rayquaza bursting into Mega Rayquaza. And it'll be Dragon Ascending something. I do like the After You on Love Pony there, I really do. It's a very cool option. Uh, it failed! Right, I need to learn my uh, After You. <laughs> I need to learn my After You uh, mechanics. It's just madness coming out again. How did that? How did that not work? Um, okay, we're bringing Coco. I've got a feeling that the uh, the requires are banded, and if it is, it's not really doing too much right now. Um, and even if it's not, let's encore lock it into that. Um, or I could just discharge. I could discharge because we could switch into. Yeah, let's do that. I like this play. Let's switch into Groudon, and let's let's um, let's specs discharge everything. We should get the Finny from this range. I'm hoping. Specs discharge electric terrain. It should be strong enough to get the Finny. I'm hoping. Get good old Groudon in. We'll get rid of this Delta Stream. This is way more appealing. I love discharge. It's like one of the greatest moves ever. Just the, it paralyzes everything that it hits. Watch, if these two survive, I bet we paralyze both. I don't know if they're gonna, but I mean, it's just crazy. I just love the Disquake combination. So we're gonna see the Finny switch out. We're gonna see Sogaleo come in. That's the that's the one that's left. It's gonna take a Specs Discharge, uh, Extreme Speed into Groudon. Uh, that's fine, doesn't affect us. Come on, Paralysis. It's not doing as much. Oh, we get the paralysis on the Rayquaza. I tell every every time, every time I tell you, it's not even a joke. Um, okay, we can eruption, and we can go for another uh, discharge. Because I think Ray switches out now, um, and just with the the, the, the paralysis on the Sogaleo, we should get the eruption off before it can attack. 
This charge is broken. It is the most broken move in the game, I swear. It's got higher paralysis chance than Thunder Wave. <laughs> I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna respond to that. <laughs> That's a stupid comment. Okay, Tabu Fini coming back in, the Sogalea wanting to stick around for later. Um gets rid of our, our electric train, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we get rid of the Finny. Wow, it's just ridiculous. And then an eruption single target. Okay, Earth Power. No! Okay, well, I mean... This is going to just do nothing. He puts it into range. No, I don't know if it's even in range for another discharge to take it down. The Sogaleo. I don't know what speed this Groudon is at, actually. That's the thing. Um, got to worry about the Z move here. Let's go Earth Power. Um, or do we go Earth Power? I think one of the things we could potentially do is go for a Protect into Groudon. Go for Low Punny in. It's just I'm kind of worried about the Z move from the Sogaleo, and I know this team has a Z move on Sogaleo, so. Um, I really feel at this point you can go for Earth Power into Ground and pick up the knockout. We're not going to be able to. We may not pick up the knockout onto Rayquaza here with with Coco. Um, and getting Low Punny in next turn, we either have Fake Out Earth Power into the Sogaleo, like Fake Out the Rayquaza, or we get Tapu Coco back in if we do see Zine move launched into this slot. Anyway, so. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So Groudon protecting. Extreme speed. Okay. And ooh, it's paralyzed. Um. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it's power. It's a bit more reliable than Precipice Blades. And let's go for a fake out into Rayquaza. But I think at this point we're going to be all right. Like, I feel like Coco can come in. Sogaleo probably protects this turn. If I'm completely honest with you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Can we encore the Sogaleo though? That would be fun. That would be fun. If we can, that would be that would be hilarious. Uh, it can still Z move though, so that's the thing. I probably I'm probably better off. Um, like the after you is not going to work because Groudon probably gets picked up here from. I'm just going to low kick into the Sogaleo. And I feel like at that point, then Coco can come in and just discharge and win the game. Yeah, Groudon go. Oh, Groudon actually survives. Wow. Groudon's a beast. Groudon is a beast. We don't even need Coco. We're doing this Groudon low pony, mega low pony style. Can I, well, a low kick will probably take the rear down, but um, I mean, we might see a forfeit here. We may. Well, eruption. It's going to be the weakest eruption in the world of eruptions. Um, extreme speed coming out doesn't take down a low pony, and low kick takes down Rayquaza. So there we go team off to a great start what a great episode today i've really enjoyed the games today it's been really fun and uh, just a massive shout out to my opponents today good game to both of them good game to fabian as well and um i hope you guys have enjoyed it i look forward to hearing your comments do leave your comments down below to let me know what you think of today's episode of the teams that we've provided you with as well today and uh, also just to finish up on the roulette road to ranked roulette series will be kicking off on monday i know i've been going on about it a lot but i need to just reiterate myself repeat myself just to make sure i haven't missed anything so i am asking each and every one of you that would like to get involved in this new series that will be kicking off monday in place of our daily routine VGC series so it will act exactly the same so if you enjoy the series don't worry it's going to be pretty much exactly the same but we're just adding a big twist onto it instead of playing uh, meta game teams kind of common teams standard teams we're going to be playing completely random teams where you guys get to pick 
um, single Pokemon, you nominate one Pokemon in a thread that I will put a, a post up on the YouTube channel, so make sure you do check that out. That will be up today. You go over there, you nominate one Pokemon. It can be a restricted Pokemon, a non-restricted Pokemon. It has to be legal in the VGC19 format. And then what we will do on our first episode on Monday, we will do a draw and roulette wheel the winning Pokemon and uh, then we'll have the team and that will be our team to take forward playing on the VGC ladder which will be a lot of fun so it's gonna ha we're gonna have to get really creative with the team we're gonna have to make sure that we we can do things to catch our opponent off guard because uh, one of you guys might decide that you want to see Charmeleon played and then it comes up in the roulette and we're with a team with Charmeleon I mean, how wacky will that be? So we've got to be innovative, we've got to be creative, we've got to bring all the memes. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There are going to be little rules, snippets, regulations around the week and how things perform, how things play, so we can switch things up. Uh, we can take things out, we can add things in, and it'll all be really good. It'll all be really good. We can have, like, all the icons, everything will be revealed on Monday. I've got a whole thing together of all. So... Go over there, get voting, nominate your Pokemon, and I hope you guys are get excited as I as excited as I am for this new series. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a really fun uh, series, and maybe we can get players involved and opponents involved in this, and do and do best of threes with it in the future. So it's got lots of scope to do all sorts of stuff with, but gonna end it there because I feel like I'm just gonna go on and on and on about it because I do have a lot of excitement for it. On another note, we will be catching up with Flinch Squad Circuit, so I'll keep an eye out for those episodes, and I will be doing some Sword and Shield content starting next week on the channel. So, lots in the pipeline, and uh, lots to get excited about, and uh, I'll just say thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day, whatever you're up to, and I will catch you for the next one. So, until then, take care, and bye-bye!